Crews have located that boat that sank in San Francisco Bay this weekend. As many as 30 people were on board at the time. The incident touched off a frantic rescue effort. KPI X5 reporter Jessica Flores is live at Pier 43 with more on the investigation. Jessica? Yeah, that's right. This is near Pier 45, and this is the area actually where Marine units were out looking for the sunken boat all day. They have located that boat at the bottom of the bay. But let's take a look at a picture of that boat before it capsized. This was taken before that dramatic scene. You can see several young people on that boat, and it looks like from the picture that none of them were wearing life jackets, but obviously a very happy, happy scene before all the chaos. The San Francisco Police Marine Unit spent hours searching for the sunken vessel. The team using sonar technology trying to find the cabin cruiser named Khaleesi that capsized over the weekend. Once it's located, then it'll be necessary to make arrangements to have that vessel brought back to the surface. The 34-foot boat was loaded with 30 people on board when this happened. Come on, who's got kids? The chaos caught on camera by Good Samaritans who threw life jackets to the victims. Now investigators are looking at all possible angles, from impairment to the boat's capacity, to determine what went wrong. The incident sent eight people to the hospital. A four-year-old boy was pulled from the water. He wasn't breathing. According to law, anyone under 13 should have had a life jacket on. It's heart wrenching when you've seen the baby getting CPR on it. That was that was a hard part. But today, that boy's health is improving. He's listed in good condition. And according to the San Francisco Fire Department, the seven other hospitalized victims are also doing well. A remarkable outcome, authorities say, in the frigid waters of the San Francisco Bay. Because as the boat quickly sank, help arrived within moments. But it did work out um, to our advantage that had so many people on the water willing to help out um, because it could have been a lot worse if there wasn't so many people around and um, conducting safety patrols. The Coast Guard, Fire Department and SFPD were already on the waters patrolling for Fleet Week. Now SFPD patrolling for a different reason, trying to find the capsized boat somewhere deep below. And an update on that four-year-old little boy. We're now told he has been released from the hospital, and all the other victims have also been released from the hospital. As for that boat, as we told you, it has been found confirmed just a short while ago, and SFPD says they are working with a salvage company to inspect the boat and make plans to bring it back up. In San Francisco, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.